What up, what up, what up? How we doing? How we doing? What's going on? Welcome to my first ever episode of Mac Air. I'm joined in the studio. It's my boardroom. It ain't a studio, but I'm joined by my young, hardworking Dave. <laughs> what's Dave up? Vier. Hey, what's going on? What's up, Dave? Good, bro. Nothing much. So I'm really excited, man. This is my first ever podcast called Mac Air. And here we go. <laughs> I've been uh, working on this for a little time now. I'm really excited to bring uh, a whole new uh, movement to Australia, Australians, everyone who wants to be a part of it, I suppose. My only purpose talking publicly right now is for me to help Australians grow in business, life and emotionally. I am quite fucking raw and there's no bullshit here. I say what I mean and I mean what I say and so should you, so should all of you. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in, Dave, and tell the people what's happening, what I've been cooking up. Oh, yeah. I've been cooking a few things up, man. Oh, you have. Yeah. I have. I have. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, I, uh, I always need to be doing something, otherwise I go a bit fucking uh, crazy, you know? Mm. Idle mm. hands, man. As we all know, fuck COVID came along. Oh, so and, over it, eh? Oh, oh, yeah. Fuck me, you oh, know? So and the worst thing about this bullshit, this COVID bullshit, it's not the money lost. Money comes and goes. Mm. We want it to come not to go let me be clear about that but uh money is this money it's just um a tool that we use to acquire the things we want right but life time and love those things they are important we don't want them to come and go mm. we want them to be here always and this has separated all of us it's created a wedge between uh, australians uh, there's so much volatility in the world happening right now and we're being fucking dragged into it. And it fucking pisses me off. It pisses me off because we're Australians. We live in the greatest country in the world. We have all the opportunity in the world and we're all good people. Australians. All Australians are good people. <laughs> we are good people. I love Australia. I love my people and I love you guys. So as I said, I've been cooking up a storm in the kitchen. Uh, you know... For, for those that don't know me, I'm going to give you a quick little rundown. Uh, my name's Kevin Mack. I started my, you know, I've been in business for nearly a decade now. I started my, you know, my first larger scale business um, going on seven years ago, mm. I, I believe. Tats Up Tattoo Supply. Tats Shout up supply out Tats Co. Up. Shout out Tats Up, Tats Up Supply Co. Yeah. Instagram. <laughs> I started that business. In the first eight months, I won an award from Shopify. Shopify is the commerce site that I used to develop uh, the store. Uh. I won, uh, they flew me over to New York, gave me 50 grand, gave me 50 Gs. What? 50 Gs, baby. That was happy days, but that, the money was, wasn't really the purpose. Well, you know, really the opportunity wasn't the money. So they assigned me with some mentors. I had the opportunity to uh, meet and develop a relationship with uh, Gary V, uh, Damon John, Little John, a whole bunch of, you know, oh veterans in business, music. Little John. Little John. Yow! <laughs> to the window. <laughs> you know what? What's his song called? Turn Turn Up For What? Turn, up, turn Down For What? Turn Down For What? Yeah. So how's it? I've got a video of this. Nah, what? All right, so <laughs> we're going to play this video in a second. Yeah! I fucked up. It's called Turn... What's it called? Turn, turn Down For What? All right, you check this video out. I'm just chilling here with Little John. I'm not drinking alcohol. This is water. It's little John can drink whatever he wants. Don't don't fuck with him. Sparkling water too. With water with gas, damn it. Turn up for what? Yeah, that's just fucked up, man. I can't believe I did that shit. <laughs> I call. I said. I said, let's turn up for what? Oh. Yeah. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked up. Anyway, I fucked up. But that was a great opportunity. Um, I've been on the hustle my whole life, to be honest. I grew up uh, with a single mum in a commission house. Uh, and uh, here we are. So uh, I've had quite a, a, quite, quite a crazy journey through business. Uh, the inception of Tats Up, uh, there was a rapid growth there. I wanted to dive into creating a tattoo festival and redefine a tattoo festival. Mm. Uh, that's when we went into Rites of Passage Tattoo Festival. Oh, shout out Rites of Passage. Rites man. of Passage, man. Greatest that's tattoo festival on the planet. Hey, that one's a vibe, man. That is a total vibe. Yeah. That's a vibe. That's, that is a one weekend of tattoo culture come together. Yeah. You know, sure. the giants, the masters of tattoo. We've had names, man. Nico Hurtado. Yep. DBK. Jeez. Randy Inglewood. Come on. Carlos Torres. Carlos Rojas. Damn, man. Like, we've, you know. Performers, too. Shout out Briggs as well. He came down Briggs last year. came through. Yeah. We had Esso out there for a minute. Um, my man, Jimmy Kyle, the host of that. 
What a great show. Great family, great culture, great vibe. Fuck, we love Rites of Passage, man. I love it. That's my baby. Mm. So, from you know, I've, I, I am all about rapid growth and development. I developed from having Rites of Passage to owning the Australian Tattoo Expo. We now run shows in um, every main state of Australia. Fast forward a bit far. I'm just going to go skip through my life quickly because you don't need to be bored with that bullshit. We need to talk about you as soon as we can. So, uh, then I delved into buying Sexpo. We don't Sexpo. And you know you said, ah, that shit's tacky, man. Ah, Sexpo. And it was. It, hell yeah, it was. Uh, so, I brought that and I made it sexy again. That's what's up. Sexpo's sexy Bringing again. Bringing sexy back. I brought right? it back, man. I'm telling you. That's what's up. And if fucking COVID didn't come along, we'd be partying with porn stars right now. You know? So, uh, you know, through my life, uh, my business journey, tattoos... Tattoo shows, tattoo supplies, porn stars, strippers, dancers, performers. It's been fun. Parties, crazy uh, crazy parties, man. Crazy I love crazy party, Dave. Uh, I want to talk about what I've been cooking up. <coughs> this, uh, this COVID bullshit has been a blocker. It's been a blocker to me. It's been a blocker to everyone, but I, I'm here to tell you right now, this has been an absolute fucking blocker for me. It really got in the way. It damaged my confidence. Uh, my business really took a real hard hit. Uh, you know, I lost a ton of wealth in just the first two weeks of this. Mm. What I've been working for for many, many years. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but what I want to accomplish now is far greater than, 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 than these things that I've just raised. And that is um, to empower other Australians to accomplish all the goals that they wish to accomplish. So I'm, I'm recreating my, um, my brand and um, everything I stand for, really, because... Uh, I I uh, I only chase my passion in life. If you look at anything that I do, anything I own, anything I run, anything I put my name to, you can see that um, my it's it, you know I've got passion in it and I love it and I you know I do it with all my heart. Uh, my forte is running events. I do love events. I run events, festivals, exhibitions, parties, industry nights. Um, you know I believe over six years we're we're getting close to five hundred thousand patrons attended events that i've hosted in australia jeez which is quite which is quite impressive i'm impressed i'm fucking impressed man i'm impressed with myself i fucking love myself man and you know what you just heard that shit and you were like this fucking dickhead (laughs) you love yourself too why the fuck how insane for you to not love yourself think about that shit you're the only one of you you're the only version of you and you don't love who you are fuck you should there's a problem if you don't and we're going to change that be confident in yourself. Have the confidence to say some shit publicly like, I love myself. And if someone goes, oh, look, this dickhead he loves himself. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Who cares? Who cares about them? They don't care about you. No, they're not out here helping you reach your goals. They're not. They're not doing nothing for you because you have to do everything for yourself. That's why we're going to learn how to stop people pleasing and please ourself. Stop saying yes to others and no to you. Say yes to you. Yes to what you want, right? Yes. Say yes, Dave. Yes, Kevin. <laughs> so listen, uh, over the, the, the course of the next 12 months, I'm going to be launching some new businesses. I'm really excited for the first time ever to be announcing them right now. Mm. I'm going to be launching the Build a Business Expo. It's going to be launching in 2021. This is going to be an exhibition, a four-day event hosting Everything that you need to build a business from the ground up and everything you need to build your business bigger. Even resources, even if you are a resource, you can be a part of the exhibition and deliver your resource and connect and network with like-minded business individuals that could utilize your capabilities. We're talking about a one-stop shop to be a business owner or to be a more successful business owner. We're going to be having workshops, seminars. We're going to have the likes of Gary V coming through. We're going to have some big names. We're going to be running um, workshops on uh, how to be a YouTuber. We're going to be running a a program called Influenced. Damn. Influenced. And that's going to be around being an influencer. And we're going to bring in some real influencers and they're going to teach you their ways. We're going to be hosting on the floor classes, workshops, for, you know, 101s in budgeting and business. Come on. We're going to be having some exciting things. We're going to be having the first ever Build a Business Awards in Australia. We're going to be having 
some really exciting business displays. I'm really excited for everyone to see what we're putting together. All in one weekend. In one weekend. Mate. In one weekend here in Melbourne, Australia. Build a Business Expo 2021. And I know for myself, I would head to that expo and I would utilize those tools. Oh, 100%. I'm building something that would help me build my business. Mm. I'm building something that if it was there at the beginning, it would have streamlined and sped my journey up if I had the access to something so valuable as Build a Business Expo. So I'm very excited to be bringing that to Australia. Over the next five years, we intend on growing and producing the most new business owners in Australia. We are going to be launching another brand, Dave, called Young Wealth. Wow, Young Wealth? Young Wealth. Now, unfortunately, young Australians don't have access to the education or the tools to learning and growing their knowledge of wealth. I know that I have made it just fine in life without French. I've made it just fine in life without geometry. I've made, it, I've made it fine without poison ball <laughs> and algebra. <laughs> but I haven't made it fine without knowing how to structure my business and manage my wealth. I haven't. Come on. You know? Yeah. And we haven't been taught these things. We don't have these fucking tools in school. So I'm developing a brand. I have developed a brand. I'm launching it right now. It's called Young Wealth. Young Wealth Australia. We're going to lead young Australians to managing their own startups and developing wealth at a young age. We're going to be creating workshops from VCE to the age of 25 for young Australians. Gee. I will, in the next five years, make the most millionaires, young Australian millionaires than any other Australian in this country. Ooh. And now I've said what I'm going to do so you can watch. You can watch, you can judge, you can, you can be like, nah, he ain't going to do that. Yeah. Well, we're going to see. We're going to see. <laughs> My intention here is to develop more opportunity in Australia and rise together. We all are fucking sick of the word haters, pessimist, the naysayers. Mm. Fuck those arseholes, man. Yeah, I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't hate them. They hold me say. back. They hold you back. Yeah. Let's not use the word hate. I don't like that word. I don't want to, I don't want to spread any hate. But we don't like them. None of us like them. You don't like them, right? So let's get them out of our life. We don't need them around. What we need is people saying, yeah, you can do it. Yeah. How do we do it? How do we do it? Let's learn. Let's figure it out. Let's fucking go after this. That's what we're developing. We're going to develop a circle of ambitious, progressive, goal-orientated Australians who want to accomplish their dreams and their goals in life. Imagine that circle. Imagine that circle you've got around you. All your people, they're all, they're all ambitious. They're all hungry. They're progressive. They're positive. They're supportive. You'd be unstoppable. Pack of wolves. Pack of fucking... You'd be unstoppable, bro. <laughs> yeah? So we are going to accomplish that. All of us. All of you are going to accomplish that. The people in your life that are saying, nah, nah, you can't do it. Or nah, you, nah that won't work. Or nah, I don't believe in you. Stay home. Get the fuck out of my life. We're done with you. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. You're done with them. It's over. It's over. It's time for growth. It's time for you to be the star now. So uh, this is important to me. I love Australia, the greatest country in the world, and I love Australians. And I really want to be able to offer Australians all the tools and resources that I have for them to develop and for them to um, achieve their goals at a rapid fashion. I say rapid. I say rapid a lot. I say aggressive, progressive, assertive. I say these power words, these, you know, these moving words for this reason, Dave, is mm. that life is short, man. Life is real short, you know. It's fucking singular life. Um, you're an individual. It's your life. No one's going to live it for you. No one's going to give you more time. Yeah, right. You've got to do it on your own and you've got to do it as quick as you can. You've got to do life as quick as you can. It's just not long enough. It's just not. If we wanted to accomplish everything in life that we wanted, we don't have enough time. Mm. We don't have enough time, man. We it's might need another 100 years, but we don't have it. But that's all right. Let's not focus on what we don't fucking have and what we do have. A good businessman is a problem solver. He fucking sees a problem and he solves it. There's a solution to all problems. 
this COVID, I run an event business. This is restricting me from gathering people together. That's a problem. I've found a solution and I'm going to get through it. I am getting through it. And we're going to gather again. We're going to rise up and we're going to be successful, happy Australians together. 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 So I'm very excited for these things. These are not just a series of words that I put together like a lot of humans you see on social media. Mm. Uh, this is another thing that I really want to touch on. The, the world and social media are full of these motivational talking fucking wanks, right? Now, that's great. That's great. And I appreciate um, anyone spreading positivity. If it's authentic and it has a real cause, I can motivate you guys. I can say some motivating, motivative, 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 motivation, motivational. motivational. <laughs> I can say some motivational shit right now. And then you're going to fucking sign off and you're going to go away and you're going to forget it and you're going to carry on with your life. Fuck that. I'm going to teach you guys and girls, everyone, I'm going to teach you all fundamental tools on how to accomplish things. We're going to start at the bottom of the building. We're going to build the foundation together. And by the end of this, you're all going to have a fucking skyscraper and own the penthouse, right? Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, this is, this is who I am. I'm saying, uh, you know, like I said earlier, I, I, I mean what I say, I say what I mean. Now, there is going to be a lot of, um, you know, we're gonna, I'm going to be holding a, a multiple podcast. One's going to be called Truth Hurts. I heard about that one. You heard about that one? That's really raw, that one. That one's like. quite raw, man. <laughs> but we need to hear raw shit. Mm. We need to hear the fucking truth so that we can get to where we want to. Because you, you can't live your life by people tiptoeing around the reality and the things that are holding you back from accomplishing what you want to. You need to be told, work harder. You fucking lazy ass, man. Get up. <laughs> Pick up your phone. Get up. Get to work earlier. Hustle more. Don't sleep as much. Go after it. Stop making excuses, man. They make, you know what? Excuses sound best to those who make them. That's some bullshit. Stop making excuses. All right? It's time. Come on. Now's the fucking time for us to go after it. So we're putting together these brands. Uh, we're going to be working on them quite aggressively. We're going to be developing Young Wealth. We're going to be building the Young Wealth Awards in Australia, awarding young, ambitious Australians, teaching them, educating them to surpass me at my age. My goal here is for young Australians to be way further than me at my age. I would like to see... Uh, you know, a, a predominant amount of young Australians at the age of 25 securing their wealth. Securing the bag, gang. You know what I'm talking about. Not, not wasting money and just, you know, fucking around, blowing in the wind. We're going to teach you, you know, the, the importance of the wealth that you're, you need to develop to get where you want to get, right? By the time you're 35, you need to be, you need to be so much further than you would have been. So let's start. Let's get you at the age of 25. Let's have you mature, educated, progressive, ambitious, and the tools and the knowledge to tackle the next big project. Let's have you ready for that shit. By the time you're 35, you're going to be a fucking master, man. By the time you're 45, you're going to be sipping mojitos in the fucking beach in Hawaii with your family saying, fuck, I'm happy I listened to Kev Mack when I was 23. <laughs> right? Jeez. <laughs> so yeah, look, I'm, I, uh, I really am. I truly am excited. And, uh, you know, as I said earlier, it has taken a little bit for me through my life to, to talking publicly was a thing I never wanted to do. I grew up with a, you know, a speech impediment and I, and I you know, I always shied away from it, but fuck that. You know, I, I don't like, um, I don't like fear. We should none of us should like fear. We should shy away from fear as, as ironic as that sounds. Mm. And accomplish what we want to do. And if fear stands in our way, we need to say, get the fuck out of our way, you know? And for me, what's important is, you know, I'm about to have a son, actually. Right? Oh, really? Yeah, about to have a son. How many months? Man, maybe any minute now. Any minute. We, yeah. are, we are literally days away from the due date. How do you feel? I'm so excited, man. I'm so damn excited. Yeah. And through the course of the last few months, you know, I've had a lot of time to think. I've been thinking about my son and all the... the 
the tools that I'm going to give him and all the lessons that I've learned that I'm going to be able to teach him and the skills I'm going to offer him for him to be the best version of him mm. and be better, even better than his dad, you know? Yeah. And it made me think, that's what I want for Australians. That's what I want for all Australians. I want us all to rise up. I want us to stop being fucking this, this enemies, man, or frenemies. Fuck that, man. Let's empower one another. Let's all get what we want to get because we all want the same shit. We all want the same mm. shit, man. We all want to accomplish our dreams. We all want to live the life we want to live. We want to live stress-free. That would be great. Probably not that much of a reality. But we can reduce stress by being prepared, by taking action, being proactive, not reactive. That's how we can reduce stress. So uh, I would like to, uh, I'd like to be working together with as many Australians as I can. Another front is I'm going to be developing some company, Australian Exhibition Group, mm. AEG, yeah. Australian Event Group, Australian Entrepreneur Group. I'm going to be... To be dev- I'm going to be developing um, some support for young Australians, middle-aged Australians, senior-aged Australians, all Australians, mm. to develop who I see that have the opportunity or the, you know the the the, um, the the right concept of an event. My my specialty is running events, hosting events, promoting events, and delivering a great event. I've got a couple of young Australians I'm working with right now mm. and we're about to launch two new events for 2021 and they're both going to be 50% owners of these large-scale events. Whoa. I'm in the business of running large-scale events and it can be quite intimidating for people that, uh, you know, that, that might run an event or have a concept but that's quite intimidating. Where would they start? Yeah. Well, I'm going to show them where to start. They're going to be able to have me supporting them. They're going to have my team working with them to develop that and then we're going to be business partners we're going to be business partners you and me we're going to be business partners you're going to own a business you're going to be successful you're going to build your wealth we're going to build our wealth you see how that works yeah together us that's the plan that's the plan gang so i'd love you all to stay tuned in um keeping up to date with the the news the new podcast i'm going to be launching a um a web page called my network group oh my network group is gonna um really i'm gonna be listing my entire network all the resources i have you know it's like it's like the aussie thing right i've got a mate that can do that cheaper (laughs) yeah i've got a mate and he knows a mate that can get that for you oh yeah right (laughs) well i've got heaps of mates and they're your mates now so i'm gonna be launching the network group in the next couple of months and what, uh, what we're going to accomplish with that is we're going to supply you with the resources straight away. The best quality, best value right here. You know, the network group, they say so. And that's going to give the opportunity to these business owners to find more clientele as well. Oh, man. The brand is reach one, teach one, build together, grow together. That's the brand. Together... Fuck, man. I tell you, I would not I would not be here, Dave, without a solid team behind me through these years. And I've had mm. team come and go. Yeah. But uh, to be honest, even the ones that have, you know, throughout the years that it hasn't worked out with, they've still been a great asset to me. I wouldn't have been able to do it without them. Yeah. I just wouldn't. None of us would. That's why I don't want people to think we live in this world where everyone seems to think that you need to be this rich business owner blah 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 blah. you don't you need to be who you are i certainly couldn't have a business without the fucking skilled hard working team that i have and 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 either could most of the things that you've seen um you know that you've seen and gone wow look how successful that person is they've got a great team behind them so i want to i want to work on making great 10 players as well Mm. and teaching you how to be an asset to your boss because that is also fundamental. It's fundamental to me. That's what I want. I want assets. I want to say, I can't do it without them. Mm. And you want to be that person, that person that they can't do it without. Yeah? So together, we're going to build together. We're going to work together. We're going to be unstoppable together. We only have this one life. It's a short life. And look at this bullshit that just happened. It slowed us all down. And it should have made everyone realize, fuck, I don't have a lot of time to get what I want to get in life. It doesn't need to be this cryptic secret. 
that nobody tells you about and you've just got to wander off in the world and find your way and figure out how to make it in the tough world of business with all those sharks. Fuck that shit. Why are we holding each other back? You wouldn't not tell your children all the lessons in life you've learnt. You wouldn't keep it a secret and say, you'll have to figure this out for yourself, son. It's fucking stupid. So, like I said, together, together, Australians, brothers and sisters, we're all in this together. We're all going to empower one another and we're going <clears> to, <throat> we are all going to empower one another. We don't have time to waste. We've established that. So let's band together and unite as an unbeatable, unstoppable force, all on a fucking mission to accomplish what we want to, achieve the things we want, Mm. acquire our dreams now, as fast as we can, as soon as possible. And the way to do that is together. I totally agree with that. Come on, Australia. Come on, Uh, Australia. It's us. So together, we are going to accomplish these things. Together, we are going to achieve all the things that we want. Follow this station. Follow this movement. Come along to the Build Up Business Expo. Join Young Wealth. Mm. Send in your ideas, your business concepts. Come for a meeting. Tell me about your passion. I'm here. I'm ready. It's time. Let's do it. This has been the first ever episode of Mac Air. I really appreciate you all listening. Woo. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it added some value. I hope we add a ton of fucking value. If not, a fucking giggle and a few. Yeah, I agree with that, Kev. So, um, thank you very much. That's Mac Air, episode one. I'm gonna wear a dress if I want to. Green hat, fish nets if I want to. Smoke, drink, do.